Guys, I just picked up this Arma 6S BLX system and I want to test it out and my little guinea pig for today is going to be my two-wheel drive, my trusty two-wheel drive Traxxas Slash. So let's see if it can handle this, shall we? Check it out, check it out guys, new parts, of course I got the 6S BLX system, got that used, was supposed to go on another build but I was so eager to test it out so I'm just going to go through exactly what I picked up that I'm going to be running alongside with that and of course it's all going to go in my Traxxas Slash. So the motor and ESC I actually got used, guess how much I got it for down in the comments below, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to this one in a second. But of course, in order to run with this 5mm shaft size right here on the motor, I needed to get bigger sized uh, pinions here with a bigger size shaft. They're not going to be, you know, I'm not able to use what I have already, you know, with these smaller motors. So this is going to run on this. I'm also switching to this spur gear right here. It says Traxxas spur gear, but it's 32 pitch instead of 48 pitch that it currently has. So this combo right here is going to hold up well on that power and then just for you know just in case i need more screws later on on my other builds i also got this little toolkit. i think it's a five a set of 500 you know nuts bolts screws things like that so you know why not i don't need it to run this motor but you know always good to have some spares and then the final i guess three things really two things is I got the battery packs right here and of course to store them I got this little guy right here so pretty cool. I already have an existing one. This kind of holds my 2S LiPos and right here let me unbox this real quick. This is what we picked up the Huvo, Huvu, whatever you want to call them you can find these on Amazon. 3S LiPo 100C discharge rate. We'll see a lot of the times you know companies lie about this. We'll see how the, how this battery does. I'll give a review about it later. You know they got a little bit of weight to them. Definitely a lot more than the 2S batteries that I have. These that I'll be using really really good battery right here so wanted to switch it up a little bit with these guys. All right so you guys just saw the parts if you want to follow along links in the description down below for everything so you too can build your 6s beast but first we're gonna go ahead and fit that into the slash then we're gonna go outside do 3s 4s and then 6s runs hopefully it doesn't blow up with that freaking power <laughs> we're gonna see how fast it goes on each you know little level but first let me fit that in there and then i'll meet you guys outside Guys, this is a pain in the butt to get off. It was like stuck in there. Jesus. All right, so I try to put the motor in with the regular mounting screws that it came with. They're just too short for this thing. So just know that these original ones are not gonna be able to mount this freaking thing. Luckily, like I said, I bought this little screw set right here. So I'm just gonna find a little bit of a longer one over here and see if it fits. All right, so I mounted the motor now. Luckily for me, the screws that I bought ended up working in there from that tool kit that I bought. So. If we go right here, that's the original one. So that one was too short. And here is the one that ended up working. So you can see it's about, I don't know, give or take three, four millimeters longer, something like that. All right guys, the slash is pretty much ready, hooked up. Got the motor in there. Got the mesh sitting nice and tight, but not too tight. Got the ESC hooked up. Got the little waterproofing box back on the receiver there, just in case. Now, the only two things that I'm worried about with the current setup is where I'm gonna put the batteries because they're not gonna fit in this original case holder here. So I'm probably gonna have to zip tie them. And two is if you check out the back over here, the back is sagging a little bit. Obviously the motor is freaking heavy. So if you're gonna go with this setup, get some different shocks, get some more shock weight oil. 
but besides that, I'll meet you guys outside and we'll see how she holds up. What's up guys? Two, three days later, managed to finally get outside because it's been raining. I don't know if you guys can see. A little bit of puddle still out here on this dirt field, but we're ready to rip the slash. We'll get it prepped, 3S, 4S, 6S. Let's let it rip. All right, start her off nice and easy. Two wheel drive, 3S. If you guys can see that but on this dirt gravel already 3s with that pin and gear ratio 21 miles per hour max pretty good pretty good for not being on smooth pavement and it's two-wheel drive so this thing is hard to handle all right so first reactions 3s two-wheel drive slash on a muddy little dirt field here too hard to control i'm trying to dodge the puddles so i don't have to clean this off later but 21 miles per hour is what we got on 3s with this combo i know i can get more out of it but i'm trying not to get on the puddles i'm trying not to crash into this thing right here little wood log but let's put in 4s and see how crazy it does I i'm a little excited 3s was fun 4s oh and 6s is gonna be terrible but let's move up to 4s <laughs> Oh. So I think I need to head home and do this little test later. I did not tighten the little grub screw on the pinion and this is what's happening. Rookie mistake. Oh well, let's head back home. All right, so we made it back out here, went back home, picked up my tools, another rookie mistake. Always make sure to bring your tools. Anyways, Pinion gear is now nice and tight. We're gonna test out 4S and then 6S. So you guys are probably wondering why I'm here now. Well, I didn't even get a chance to test out 4S on the GPS. This thing fell off and my freaking rear shock over here just kind of fell off. The screw went missing flying. So yeah, 4S, just way too much power on this bumpy little section over here. Maybe smooth pavement would be a better test. So yeah, 3S is fun, 4S is definitely fun. I didn't get a chance to do 6S, but we'll do another video another time. But yeah, this is the 6S slash beast. So yeah, hope you guys liked the video. This is Jacobus RC. We buy, bash, and build stuff like this used slash right here. So if you're interested, stay tuned, subscribe, and be ready for the 6S episode of this beast. Probably the worst part about this mud. Gotta clean this up. Oh well, catch you guys next time.